Am I seeing things or is Lou Duba carrying an Irish flag? <laughs> Carla Pete from Galway, Ireland. Well, there he is, Colum Keane coming in. He's made his pro debut just this past July 7th, knocking out Jose, not knocking out, beating Jose Torres in four rounds. Not the former light heavyweight champion. That would be a story. All right, here comes his opponent with one of the nicest do-rags I've seen, making his pro debut at 30 years of age, Kurt Shaka. Shaka's out of, listed as being out of Brooklyn, but originally out of Springfield, Jamaica. That's not Jamaica the island, but Jamaica, Queens, Long Island, went to Edison High School. Tale of the tape on these fighters tonight. Shaka, as we mentioned, out of Brooklyn, New York, weighs 180 and a half pounds, and he's 5'11", and their height advantage certainly goes for Colum Keen coming in at 6'2". He weighed 180 for this fight. His big advantage, though, is that he's got that one fight in the bank. And now we're going to go up for our introductions from our ring announcer, Ed Darian. Ladies and gentlemen, this is four rounds, and it's in a cruiserweight division. Once again, our judges, George Gabriel, Malvina Lathan, and James Pierce. Our referee is Pete Santiago. Introducing first in the red corner, wearing the black trunks with the multicolor trim. He weighed in at an even 180 pounds. This young man has one win and no losses. All the way from Connemara, Galway, Ireland, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Colin Keane. Keane. And his opponent in the blue corner, wearing the blue trunks with the red and white trim. He weighed in at 180 and one half pounds. This young man is making his professional boxing debut from Brooklyn, New York. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Kurt Shaka. Shaka. Okay, I explained the rules to you guys in the locker room. Any discussion? Come over here. Okay, shake hands, give me a clean fight, good luck. Pete Santiago, short but sweet on his instructions. And there's Colum Keen, and boy, what a crowd behind him here tonight. Yeah, Irish certainly turned out. And we'll see what he has. Obviously, Lou, he has Lou Duver in his corner, and that's quite an endorsement right there, Steve. All right, that tells you all you need to know about the future of Colum Keen. Lou Duver doesn't work with fighters who don't have promising futures. Well, certainly, his opponent here tonight, Kurt Shaka, would like to change it. Shaka turning pro at 30. And, Steve, you know, we're seeing more and more of that fighters turning pro at an older age. Maybe a lot of that has to do with guys staying in college longer, being more educated, or just seeing that there's money in boxing down the road. But I, I, I'm amazed at how many fighters. Normally, though, we don't see it in this weight class. I see it. It's more prevalent at heavyweight. Exactly. Well, you know what? Cruiserweights are going to be heavyweights. And looking at Keen, he's got baby fat on him, and he's going to be a heavyweight someday. Oh. Let's see with Pete Santiago. Santiago scoring that a knockdown. Right hand, Arn. Still plenty of time left here in the first, almost two minutes to go. Oh, and he eats a big left hook from Keen. And it may be his first pro fight, but Shaka knows how to hold on, looking to get his legs back. Oh! Colum Keen, bit of a hot dog, Colum Keen, yes. looking over him, doing an Ollie shuffle type of thing. Not only does he hit him in the face, but then he says to him, in your face, and it's over. <laughs> Well, Pete Santiago stopping it here very early in the first round. And the Duver endorsement certainly works well here. As Colum Keen comes out and ends the uh, pro debut of Kurt Shaka. Keen will improve to 2-0. Shaka, of course, dropping down to 
0-1. Duva looking very happy there. And he should be at this point. We're going to take a look, though, Steve, well, on the replay. Arnie, all you can say is that we didn't see much of Keane, but every time he landed a right hand, his opponent went down. That would seem to be the top of the head, the first knockdown there. Yeah, and I couldn't tell when we saw it originally from the angle we were sitting. I couldn't tell what happened. Uh, that, that was legit. That was a legit knockdown. Here it is again. It's right to the top of the head. All right, now up to our ring announcer, Ed Darian, with the official time of the stoppage. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Pete Santiago moves in and stops this bout at one minute and 29 seconds of the first round. And the winner by a TKO, Colum Keane. Keane. And let's have a nice round of applause for Kurt Schocker. Let's hear it for him. Maestro, please.